what about if you want to use a photograph, some texture, some thing that you could use to watermark your image or stain your image. For that, we're actually going to jump over to the bridge and find a photograph that we'll give to you. It's just a piece of limestone here, regular photograph. How do you prepare this photograph to be an overlay, a texture or staining overlay that won't add color, won't even add uh, a change in tone to your file, will just add the texture. For that, we're going to double click on it. I've got my ACR set up to open up JPEG files, which this is. We'll hit Auto, which as you know I like to do to set my black and white point. But we're going to immediately go right over to our HSL Grayscale tab and ask it, please convert to Grayscale. Now what you're going to be looking for here is this histogram. And as I mentioned, 50% gray will be neutral. But if we were to bring this image in and lay it over our photograph and change its blend mode to one of the contrast blend modes like soft light or overlay, it would dramatically lighten the file up. That's not what we want. We want it to be neutral. We want this to be in the center. Our histogram, our hump, should be in the center. And for that, I'm going to go back to my basic tab and simply take my brightness until I get my image right in the center. My histogram now, it's 50% gray. It may not be pretty, but it will be neutral when it comes in. If I want to have the option of making it more dramatic, I can increase the contrast in my image, which is still going to leave it primarily 50% gray. That way I can leave my layer that I'm about to bring into Photoshop um, at full intensity. The lights will be lighter, the darks will be darker, it will be a significant change. I can also change the opacity of that layer once I get into Photoshop and make it more subtle. So I can actually, I like it, tend to be a little bit more contrasty here that gives me more freedom in the file. Once I'm set, I can say OK. I've got my um, preferences in ACR set to Open Object as a default. Remember, you can change that by clicking here down at the bottom of the interface for ACR. And that's where you can ask it to open in Photoshop as Smart Objects as a default or turn that off. I like it turned on. That's where I set my default. If yours isn't set to open object and you're wondering how can I get open object and you don't know about that little tip that I just gave you, holding down the shift key lets you switch from open image to open object or open object to open image. It's a little toggle, that's just the shift key. So if you don't want to change your preferences, you can just use the shift key to open something as an object. I'm going to say yes please open object and now I've got an image that's 50% gray, roughly, we look at our histogram, it's got that middle hump to it, that I can then come over here and drag and drop onto my target document. If I hold down the shift key when I drag and drop, it'll center that object, and now we can get our effect by changing the blend mode to one of the ones where 50% gray will be neutral, the slightly lighter, slightly darker will not be, overlay, or the sister blend mode of soft light. There you can see our texture, the staining. I've turned off our noise. There's both of them together. There's the noise by itself. Here's our texture, our stain on top of it. Again, that can be photograph of anything from signage, torn paper, asphalt, whatever you'd like. Let's get rid of that noise so we can focus on our texture. I'm going to now scale that. I've given you this file, for re full resolution file, big enough that you can just come up here and edit, do a free transform, Command or Control T. And I'm scaling out now, zooming out. Of course, that's the space bar and Option or Alt key. It automatically gives you the zoom out Spacebar and Command or Control gives you the zoom in. I'm sure you all knew that little one. You probably also know that Shift key lets you constrain your scaling of the image. And Shift and Option on the Mac or Shift and Alt on the PC lets you scale from the center. 
So it lets you come up here and scale the image. I'm going to come up here, scale it, well, that's probably about 50% or so. And that's going to still give me some flexibility to move my texture around and get that stain exactly where I want it. I can even come up here. I want to maybe draw attention. Let's see where we want. We'll take it right about there. Remember, one of your best shortcuts in Photoshop is right-clicking on anything brings up all the options associated with whatever you're right-clicking on. Right-clicking here lets me do a flip horizontal, rotate, skew, or even warp. I've got image warp built right into the free transform. So if I wanted to, we could just simply do a little flip horizontal and maybe that's going to draw the eye more into my surfer. I think I like that right there, a little bit more subtle. Double click sets that, and there we have our texture overlay. Okay. So whether you're going to use Photoshop to create something that's 50% gray with some slight variation like our addition of noise here, or whether you're going to bring in a photograph, a texture from somewhere else, and then make it primarily neutral by uh, using your brightness settings in ACR like we have here. Either way you do it, you now have the ability to bring in whatever you'd like as a patina, an overlay, a stain on top of your beautiful photograph.